Hey, I'm Nick Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager. This is episode number 18. We have the one seed at an 80 or 60 level tournament uh, in Australia, and it's the follow-up after just missing out on our first, well, would have been our second Grand Slam, but our first Grand Slam post-rebalancing, which I think, uh, I swear I need to just move on and not talk about that anymore. Sorry to keep bringing that up. But anyway, uh, we are the one seed here, and the three seeds rank 202. The two seed is 188. We've got a chance in this tournament. We have won one of these prior. Early rounds should be easy. First round looks to be easy. And it is 6 3 6 1. Just when I thought it was supposed to be easy for the first few rounds, round number two is not. It's balanced. And we're facing somebody inside the top 250, which could be a very close match. Could go either way. But it's 6 1 6 1. We were pretty comfortable, actually, in the end on this one. Uh, 34 winners to 20, and just three unforced errors. In between rounds here is an update on our Academy objectives for the year. And four out of five are already complete, meaning we should be seeing a pretty substantial bonus at the start of next season in terms of finances, probably half a million or so, which is not necessarily a very big deal in the grand scheme of things as we're bringing that in monthly. But uh, Reputation of the Academy is the only one still to climb, and there's a number of upgrades in the works that should help out. Not literally one day later, the first of those is done yoga meditation room. Fairly tired of having just one scout and having it take a really long time for that one scout to operate. It's time we have space for more. So we're going to go ahead and do a 300k upgrade with little general costs that, that'll help uh, bring that along so we can do evaluations a bit faster. On to the quarterfinal, and this is actually the easiest opponent we've had so far. Maybe, <laughs> maybe not. Fairly easy, but the first set was close, 7-5, and then 6-1, 50 winners, and just 10 unforced errors. 5-1 to one ratio on that, and those 10 unforced errors out of 121 points, so under 10%, that's a good match. That now puts us into the semifinal. The semifinal looks like a fairly winnable match, somebody between that 250 to 300 range, which... We're finding we're doing pretty well against those here lately. The other semifinal, though, does have the two seed, the 188th ranked player, who could give us a pretty hefty challenge if we even get to the final, that is. Balanced match here in the semis. Close match, but it is a win, 7-5-6-3. We will play in the final, chance at our second and matching our biggest career win unless you count the junior Grand Slams as being bigger than a small world tour event, you you certainly could consider it that. Surprise, surprise though, the number two seed was knocked off 6262 in the other semifinal, giving us what actually looks on paper to be a much easier final match. It is considered balanced, but Actually, she's coming off of a really good stretch. Her ranking went up by 177. It looks like she's had back-to-back -back tournaments here where she's gone quite deep, seeing her ranking rise significantly. So it looks like we do have some work to do still to see this one out. So we'll go ahead and play it live. <clears throat> Other than being fearful where our opponent is enthusiastic, part of that being her age at 28 as she attacks the net on the first point Second and set. scores the first point. Besides that, the Virtual. fitness part is just a maybe 5% behind where she's at. Not even that. It's it's quite close. So we, we are in very similar shape in this final. Uh, I wasn't so sure about that ball out of bounds. What my eyes saw looked like it was in by a good foot. Uh, didn't even look like it was close to the line, but uh, my eyes... My eyes are known to play tricks on me, so uh, I've been long due to go in and get a checkup on my eyes because I might finally be at the point where I need uh, some sort of some form of glasses to, to keep seeing. We had a chance to win that first game on that one, but now we are at deuce. 
This is to break, by the way, so this would be a really good start to begin with uh, breaking the first game. And we have. Oh, have not. That just gave us advantage. That gave us advantage, but we are in position to do so now. That's in. That's in. That was close to the back line. That's in. It is. Yes. First game is ours. So we have broken already. That is fantastic. And now with service, if we hold serve, we're going to be up two. Good rally going here. Oof. Little long as we attacked the net there. That's not our best area to play. We do not play the net terribly well. Though the aggressive stance and being physical still leads to plenty of points. It's just uh, we're not as accurate. We're not as good up close to the net. But being aggressive can still lead to scores. Like it did there. 40-15. Attacking the net the second time in this game. Very much on force there. That was an easy ball straight to us. Did not even have to move a foot as she hit it straight back at us. Again, we attack the net. This time it was invited and we do play the game. It's too love already. Let's go ahead and speed things up here in this first set. We don't break that time. In fact, we didn't even score, but let's make sure we hold serve and don't just give our momentum right back to Earth. 40-30 and we do claim the game. It's 3-1. At this point, all we need to do is hold serve, and the set would be ours. It'd be nice to break her one more time. It'd be nice to not lose without even scoring a point on our own service. She broke us without even giving up a point. That's harsh. That's harsh. Deuce. Trailing. Trailing again. Okay. Finally, bouncing back as we win that game. That service game without giving up a point. We were close to breaking her on the previous. We're close to breaking her here, but we do not yet again. Again with service, looking strong. Again, not giving out a, up a point, and it's five all. Service. First set, going deep. We've had multiple chances to break. Six that was out. Obviously, a must win for the set here. Stay alive. 30 15. To send it to tiebreakers. 40 30. And that is into tiebreakers now. How was that? Okay, that service looked uh, to, to be beyond the line, but it was counted in. And so we trail. After her unforced error, we're level. That one just out. That one hitting about the same place as that first serve had. Otherwise, we'd be up 3 nothing. Whoa, 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 whoa. That ball was like five feet beyond the line from visually. It went out of sight, but it wasn't dropping at all. It was still going hard straight. It looked like it was going well beyond. Dang, there goes my eyes again. <laughs> oh. Second service. I'm calling foul. Calling foul. Three all, though. Still looking good. Should be 5-1. In my opinion. In my very, very strong, biased opinion. And where they called us out when it did not look to be out. But through the net, across the court, not the easiest spot to see. And all of a sudden we trail 3-6. And we lose the set. That should have made it 4-6. According to the the bias the eyes do lie Second set. well now we're trailing by a set in a set that looked like it could have should have been ours throughout we're gonna have to come back strong uh, we do not want to win in tiebreakers we need to win this set fairly comfortably six four is the worst that i would hope for i would hope for fewer games one than that two or three to give us the uh, upper hand entering the third and final set. In terms of the fitness part, she had a 5% advantage at the start. I'd say that's at about 8 to 10 right now. So we're wearing at a similar rate, stamina-wise, but she's got that little bit of an advantage. 
Uh, we are up two games to one, but she uh, is able to hold serve on that one, even though we looked like we could possibly break. By the way, we are still fearful, and she's stressed, so we are just not getting our head right so far in this match. Both continuing to hold serve. It's 4-3. Looks like we're headed to 4-4, or can we finally get the break? And we do, wow. From down, love 30. We score straight on through to win that game, and now it's 5-3. But then, with service, we collapse when we had that chance to put it away. We do not, but we, here we are with set point. It's her service. We have to break to make it happen, but we're up 40-30 in the game. Oh, my head was in the way. Didn't see it. Looked close. Deuce. Got that one. Good ball. We've got the upper hand now. Ooh. Oh. Could not find a winner there. We were on the front foot that whole time. And then we played one ball to the right, right to the oh, edge. Juice. And then when we went back to the left, it was not far enough over to the edge that it gave oh, her advantage. enough. Now we have advantage, by the way. Gave her enough to come back oh, comfortably. Juice. Again, with the... Seriously, that was out? These biased eyes. I need to make a song. These biased eyes. See what they want to see. And in trouble fault. now. Second set. Fault. Deuce. Double fault. Back to deuce. Fault. Second set. Oof. That one just, just out. out. Advantage. That was out. These biased eyes did not Game. see that one where they were not at. Then. Big mistake on that one. And here we are. Right back where we were in low. the first set. But at least we have service now for the chance to go up 6-5. Wow, didn't even move. Why? That ball was in five feet either direction. Easy one to reach, too. I mean, it... That was right on the middle of the line! Ah. Okay. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Second set. Somebody needs to start singing. The ball was right down the middle of the line. I feel so unlucky today. So unlucky. I'm getting some just crazy unlucky calls according to these bias eyes. That's why deuce. Advantage. Oof, into the net. Come on now. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, start working her side to side. You're giving her the advantage right now, and you shouldn't be. She hits it long, we get the game. 6-5. Can we break her to clinch? I do not want to go to tiebreakers again. That did not go well the first time. Better, better. Move your feet! Wow. Tiebreaker. Good first point. Full. Second set. Nope. Tell immediately when that came off the racket that that was going to go wide. Difficult one to get back on. Should have been moving the feet sooner, though. Should have anticipated that one. And after that strong start with the first point, we trail. Now, finally, with service, and then we hit that oh. wide. Ooh! Hey, there's the luck! These biased eyes thought we missed. It was called in. That's a good one. Nice winner there. 3 2. Fault. Second set. Out. 3 0. Oh. 
Not sure why I changed my mind. It looked like I was lining up to pull that to the left, and then all of a sudden, at the last second, tried to push it to the right and missed. Foot. Weapon. Bang, bang. <laughs> Again. Again. It's been. That's why. That's why it's still alive. Five six. Match point. Second match point, by the way. Six. Four. Into the net. <sighs> Into the net, and we lead. But you got to win by two. Set point. Good one. Good one. How did she get there and hit it so cleanly? And not get put on the back foot. I do not understand how she went clear across the court and reached that ball. And then she just aced her way into oh, another seven. match point. Her third. Great return on that one. Oof. I guess that wasn't the return. That was the third. But great winner. Anyway. Back to level. Eight all. I think I anticipated right. She pushed it to my left. Just didn't get there. Fourth match point now. Nice. Ah, uh, not well placed. Otherwise, that would have been a winner. And it set her up. I set her up. I pushed her right. All I had to do was go to the left edge, and it's a winner. I didn't go anywhere near the left edge. We were six, seven feet in. And then all of a sudden... Took her two hits and we were done. Game over. Tiebreaker and a tiebreaker. But lose both. Lose both sets. Lose the final to somebody much lower ranked. But, as we saw, was not a weak player at all. Why she is so low in the rankings, I don't know. What suddenly happened. Maybe it was mental. Maybe she had a upgrade there suddenly that is seeing her playing much better than before but it looks like she just won her second straight tournament based on rankings grant also made the finals of a smaller junior tournament but lost in the finals still good for her to uh, be rising and winning some matches already uni reaches double digits on spins already so that happened quite quickly in about a month we went from an eight to a ten uh, volley also increasing to a seven Grant, short-term focus for her is speed. It was so low. It was just a 7. And just at the beginning of the level, I've already brought that up to an 8, only with a couple weeks with the team. A few weeks with the team now. It's a bit of a strange one for me. The Indian Wells Open, I was trying to get into a smaller version of it, and we were denied. Now I get an invite for a wild card at the same time for the bigger version, for the 1,000 level. I suppose I'll accept. I, it's not going to go well, but we'll play. The next upgrade I want to do is the balneotherapy because it's going to come with a hefty increase to income, and income is king. This year I planned on taking on a few larger tournaments. Uh, the first of those is the Acap... <laughs> I know how to say this, but I don't know. I haven't pronounced it in so long. Getting it off the tongue is a totally different story. Uh, Acapulco, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. I might have to practice and come back. Anyway, uh, we're here in Mexico. Yeah, getting sneaky, aren't I? Anyway, we uh, we got a wild card for this one as well. And uh, 250 level tournament. <laughs> and we're in for big time trouble. Because even if we manage to get out of the first round, our chances of getting out of the second round are near impossible we are good enough just good enough to reach balanced anyway against the 106th ranked player and we do squeeze our way out of this one took three sets six two five seven seven five five aces helping us out 66 winners to 69 so we were actually minus three we were just a little bit cleaner with minus five on the unforced errors but only 11 unforced errors out of 188 points well below 10 percent not quite to five, but uh, yeah, that was maybe what seven percent in the unforced errors department. Really fantastic. 
well played. And 66 winners on 98 points. Getting the job done. Plus five aces. That's 71 of your points right there. That win is worth some points, so that is going to help our ranking out quite a bit as we've fallen all the way to 179th now. Even though we made that finals in that last tournament, our ranking went down. Alina Svitolina, though, as the opponent, I think number 12 in the world, the Ukrainian is much better than we are. Much, much better. So uh, it was nice getting to the second round, but say goodbye. 1606, significant gap between us. No surprise there. 17 winners. She only had 37, though, so it wasn't like we totally got beat. And nine unforced errors to nine does show that you know we played okay played okay considering how bad at the end of last episode i mentioned that jovic was a target and i was waiting to see what would happen on the evaluation once we got to 100 percent well we're there we're there now and the now 16 year old jovic already in the top 250 in the world tour 16th in the junior rankings and she other than myself, is the youngest player in the top 25 of the junior rankings. She's got some work to do, but she's already got an excellent return. A number of her physical attributes and some of her technical attributes, especially on the accuracy part, are already quite high. So she fits, she fits the style, and it's her secondary tactic, but the deviation play is also nice. The mental attributes are already where they need to be, though the four uncontrollable ones are still quite low so she needs some growth and development in that department but overall intelligence and return are high a good backhand forehand and good movement meaning she fits she fits the mold of the players that i like to have on the team and she is looking at three and a half minimum potential and she does maybe have that five star potential in her at standard she might not develop terribly fast for the next few years she looks like she's got the potential to be world-class and that would be a great addition so let's go ahead and propose a contract she is open to negotiating with us she wants a promising player that'll make three for us overall academy slots by the way is at five right now Ooh, looks like i've hit three star status uni has that is she wants two seasons for now let's see if we can make that three okay she accepted that's good Signing bonus, a little on the high side, but that is okay. She is that type of player who's going to want that. We'll see if we can get 34%. But she accepts. Okay, good. She's demanding, calm, and attentive. The demanding is why she wanted that bigger signing bonus. But she has a boost to confidence, and she gets along with staff well, so that's good. And we are on to that Indian Wells tournament that I mentioned a few minutes ago. Wild card against the 23 seed who is ranked higher than us. And while it looks like we're good in the 2 to 250 range now, I still think anything above top 200 is still a little beyond our reach, even though we are getting better and better. And obviously we've pushed that up from 400 to about 200. And that's a significant rise, but everybody we're playing against here looks to be a bit better it's only two qualifying rounds so that part's good but we would have the uh, three seed in that second qualifying round if we do happen to get through this one we are balanced for this match against the 25 year old Romanian but I'm not sure how well we're going to do we get the win 6-4-6-1 into that second qualifying round so far so good it is against that three seed. 109th is her ranking. Considered balanced, meaning we have a shot. And we win it. 6-2, six, 6-2. Two, six, two. We have qualified for the tournament. 50 winners to just 14. Also 19 unforced errors. She made no mistakes, but she did not know how to hit a winner for the life of her. Meanwhile, it was all us in control of the match. Both good and bad outcomes. And Jovic has signed. So we get a promising, strong youngster added to the squad. And that makes three. Which means we're going to have to go make some more staff signings while we're at it. It's a good thing I've made some progress towards being able to have additional staff. But we are not done with that process just yet. It should be done fairly soon within the next couple of weeks anyway. But in the meantime, 
we can have five more trainers, just not anything else. So short time, I want to look into the trainer and, and see what we can do. Now in terms of assignments, I think game plan is our weakest category, though maybe physical training is another one. So I want to look for the first time specifically at finding somebody who is going to help us uh, in in more ways than one. I don't know if we're going to be able to hang on to her or not, but a level 8 American trainer is talking with us. Let's see what we can do with this one, if we can actually get her signed on or not. The wage, totally fine by me. And that's a small bonus. So I will happily go with that one. We'll see if she actually signs the deal, though. This is my first big tournament appearance since the rebalancing and yeah tough tough first round tough second round tough third round all likely uh don't expect to get past here but we qualified we're here that's big tough match pharaoh heavy favorite we'll go ahead and simulate it's a done deal one six two six no surprises but just happy to have qualified interesting that Jovic, training on her own without coaches, has done the exact same thing. A couple days after joining the team, before we got the trainer hired, Jovic has gone and hurt herself with a hyperextension and will be out for one to two weeks. So we have the addition. Uh, we've been able to get her signed. It's not going to show up till tomorrow, apparently. Here's a great thing about uh, the newcomer Uberoi. She is fantastic for training game plan. So that has really helped boost Uni as well as we can put Uberoi in both places. She has a 19 on tactics. And tactical and mental is actually a decent place to give her her third assignment. So now May is the only one who has been unassigned. How is May doing? Okay, May's okay for there. Uh, so. Jovic, still a bit short in terms of what she has around her. In fact, we might kind of swap things out with Grant here. Uh, short term, as, as Jovic is, is a much further along player than Grant is. And, and Grant, Grant doesn't have as much potential either. So I think I might swap things around a little bit and move Kissel. So here's how training stands at the moment for me. Uh, Kissel, I've shifted over to support uh, Jovic. Kissel's good for tactical and mental training, and Oboroi. Oboroi's good at tactical and mental, but best at training game plan. There's three <laughs> that need it, so is going to do that across the board for all three. Hans is also the best at technical at three and a half. So I've gone ahead and employed Hans at her best, three and a half for each of those. May is one star everywhere except technical, where she's two and a half. So I've got her giving Uni a little bit of a boost and then filling in the gap so that we at least have some training for Grant, even though it's only one star. So May is definitely somebody we don't need around anymore. We will upgrade if and when we can. But outside of missing a couple physios, a coach for Grant is all that is missing. But for Jovic, it's okay everywhere except for the physical training. May's contract expires at the end of the year, so they'll definitely not be around after that. And we're, we're certainly finding better trainers than before. I mean, that was a level three. That was already our best. And now we have a level five and we have a level eight. I'm wondering if our academy um, rating is higher, and it is. So we have now pushed to two and a half with better training. Also, you'll notice that we are no longer at the bottom, or at least we are level anyway, with four other academies, so we have caught up. We've gone from the very, very edge, back edge, to being fairly okay. Now, team, okay, we're only at two and a half, but all three of our athletes are, are 16 years of age or younger. Uh, scouting still has a ways to go. Training still has a ways to go. Medical certainly has a ways to go, but the business side of it is quite good and the talent zone the potential is 
really high. All right, folks. Well, that is going to do it for this episode, though. I'm a Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.